Hey everyone, it's Stasha Erickson, and I have a little surprise video for you guys today. Um, I made a video two days ago talking about the astronomical changes due to the Mandela effect. And one of the things that I mentioned was um, I got quite fired up for like five minutes about how NASA has only ever been to the moon once and where is all their money going? And then I mentioned something about it seems like we have all these new Apollo missions that I'd never heard about either. Well, when I woke up today, I had received a comment from a viewer of my videos who mentioned that we hadn't actually been to the moon just once. So I was a little bit shocked and I thought, okay, what's going on here? Someone is definitely pulling my leg. There is no way that we've been to the moon more than once. Now, granted, we may have sent satellites to the moon. We may have sent ships to the moon without men on them. I don't doubt that. I think they've gone and they've taken samples from the earth and or from moon rocks and all these things. But apparently, as of today, when I checked this out, we have now sent men, physical men, to the moon six times. Okay, let me just share this with you and I will give you guys a link to this article and I will give you a screenshot of the information I found on Wikipedia. So, um, well first, on Wikipedia, I just typed in how many times have we been to the moon? And it popped up with this little summary that says United States Apollo 11 was the first manned mission to land on the moon on July 20th 1969. There have been six manned U.S. landings between 1969 and 1972. Okay manned landings mean human beings landed on the moon and walked there okay and numerous unmanned landings with no soft landings that happened between August 22nd, 1976 and December 14th of 2013. Okay, so they're saying between 20, 1976 and 2013, they've had no soft landings, but they had six man landings apparently before this. Um, here's an article that I found that goes into it a little bit more. If you just, I'll give you guys this link. It's called List of Six Man-Moon Landings. Uh, all of total six moon, man-moon landings to date were a part of NASA's Apollo program. Running from 1961 to 1972, the objective of the program was to gather as much data as possible from close orbits and manned landings. And, of course, get to the moon before the Soviets and take the lead in space exploration. Below is a list of all six man-moon landings with a brief summary of each of the missions. Apollo 11. On July 20th, 1969, the lunar module of Apollo 11 became the first manned spacecraft to land safely on the moon in the area named Mare Tranquilatis, commonly known as the Sea of Tranquility. The module was manned by Commander Neil Armstrong and pilot Edwin Buzz Aldrin. Upon landing, Armstrong called Houston base and reported, the Eagle has landed. A few hours later, Armstrong stepped onto the surface and reported, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Aldrin followed minutes later, after a stay of 21 hours and 36 minutes, during which the astronauts took photographs, conducted experiments, and collected samples of rock and soil, they then lifted off. The lunar module then docked with the orbiting command module that was piloted by Michael Collins. On July 24th, the craft splashed down safely in the Pacific Ocean. The astronauts were recovered by the USS Hornet. Okay, so we all know about that one, right? We know about Buzz Aldrin. I've talked about this guy so many times. That guy is not okay. Poor Buzz. I'm sorry, Buzz. I really hope you're okay. <laughs> He can't even get through an interview without really scaring me, so um, please Google Buzz Aldrin interviews if you know what I'm talking about. He might have been okay back then, but I don't think he's ever been the same since he returned from the moon. 
But I want to move forward to these next few little things. I mean, I I feel very shocked today because um, not only have I made a lot of videos where I've talked about how we've only been to the moon once, but I also just wrote my first book, Diary of an Asset, which many of you have heard me talk about and some of you have read, um, where I go on and on about how NASA has only been to the moon once, has only ever sent a man to the moon once. And I'm going on and on and on about how NASA, what are they doing with all their money? And why haven't we seen a photograph of, of space like pretty much ever? It's always some type of artist rendition or artist representation. We've got billions and millions of dollars out there made of telescopes and all of these high-tech satellites and we can't get a proper photograph of space so anyway I spent you know half of a chapter going on and on and on about this so now my own book is totally irrelevant and doesn't even make sense anymore so let me just keep moving on here but I'm, I'm I want to say thank you for the person who reached out to me I won't say your name because it's you know kind of sensitive info but uh, thank you for bringing this to my attention because, you know, this really should have gone in my astronomical video the other day. But hey, I didn't hear about it till today. All right, so let's continue on. The second manned lunar landing took place on November 19, 1969. The lunar module of Apollo 12, crewed by Commander Charles Conrad and pilot Alan Bean, separated from the orbiting command module piloted by Richard Gordon. The two astronauts landed in the area called Oceanus Procalarium near Surveyor Crater and close to Surveyor 3, an unmanned spacecraft which landed two and a half years earlier. What? Huh. Okay. The two men conducted experiments, took photographs, and collected samples. Parts of Surveyor 3 were taken for later examination as well. After 31 hours and 31 minutes, they took off. After docking with the command module, the lunar module was jet jettisoned and crashed onto the moon, causing the first recorded artificial moonquake? Huh? Never heard of a moonquake before either. And these guys stayed 31 hours and 31 minutes when the only one the whole world knew about before was only for 20 they only lasted 21 hours so this second adventure happened for 10 hours longer yet i've never heard of it and most people i can i can assume that most people have not heard of this either in fact i'm going to actually leave make an exception on this video and i'm going to leave comments on this video because this isn't technically part of my mandela effect series per se my series is about the book i'm writing but this just came out of left field today so i'll leave comments on this because i'm really blown away for the world to share with me what they think about this i'm a history buff i'm a science fiction buff I have gone on and on about the moon and Stanley Kubrick and all of this stuff for years. And then all of a sudden, I'm really shocked. Okay, let's move on. Apollo 14. Oh, yes, Apollo 14. The third manned moon landing was made on February 5th, 1971. There's a photo here of the guys here, and it doesn't even look like a real photograph. It literally looks like one of the guys is like photoshopped in. There's kind of a ginger guy. A guy with ginger hair, sorry, on the bottom of the photo. And it looks almost like he's been copied and pasted in. This is so weird. Okay. February 5th, 1971, by the lunar module of Apollo 14, crewed by the commander Alan Shepard and pilot Edgar Mitchell. They landed 13 miles, which is 21 kilometers, north of the Fra Mauro crater. The astronauts collected samples, took photographs, and conducted experiments. So they were, all three of them were there. One of them being Shepard type striking two golf balls. They were playing golf on the moon. These are the other things that just blow my mind. How is it possible to play golf on the moon? What up with the gravity factor here? Or the, the lack of gravity factor? This is just so weird to me. I wonder if this is just something that NASA just wrote up and made up overnight. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> I hope it's just so weird because I just made this video 48 hours ago saying 
I feel so silly now. I mean, I don't feel silly, but I just, I feel shocked that I went on and on about how we've only been to the moon once and then to hear this today. It's just weird. And I've also noticed the number 13 and 31 like seven times throughout this article. I also see 33, 21, 31, 31. Oh, it's very, it seems very numerically cryptid, this information. Okay, let's see. So back to this 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 third landing. Apparently, Shepard was playing golf on the moon, and uh, the lunar module then lifted off on February sixth. And they were on this they were on this mission for thirty three hours and thirty one minutes, spent on the moon's surface. They docked with the orbiting command module that was piloted by Stuart Rusa. On February 9th, the crew splashed down into the Pacific Ocean, nearly 800 nautical miles south of American Samoa, where they were recovered by the USS New Orleans. That was the last time recovered astronauts were quarantined? Okay, well, apparently they were quarantined too, these three lads. Now, two of the lads I recognize, but who is this guy? This ginger guy? I have no idea who that guy is. No, I've never seen him before. They're not even saying who this third person is unless this is the guy Stuart Rusa. But Edgar Mitchell and Alan Shepard are the two dark-haired lads in the photo. I've seen them before, but I don't know who this other guy is at all. Okay, Apollo 15. <laughs> We're still going here, folks. And what was the quarantine thing? I want to know what they mean by that astronauts were quarantined. That's very strange to me. Quarantine from what? If there's never, if we've never proven that there's life outside of this planet, what would we need a quarantine of these people for? You know what I'm saying? Very strange. Okay. Um, let's see here. Apollo 15 was the fourth manned lunar landing, which took place on July 30th, 1971. After separating from the orbiting command module that was piloted by Alfred Warden, Commander David Scott and pilot James Irwin landed in the Mare Imbrium area, close to the Montes Apennius. Scientific experiments were carried out, photographs taken, and samples collected. Where are all the photos? They have one here, but are these actually the photos? I have no idea. I'm so blown away by this. Um, okay. <laughs> The lunar rover was used for the first time, allowing the astronauts to explore a much larger area. Oh my god, here we go with how long they were there for. After 66 hours and 55 minutes, okay, that's a long time, the lunar module took off to dock with the command module. During the descent to Earth, one of the three parachutes didn't open properly. Despite that the craft splashed down, 330 miles safely onto the north of Honolulu Island. The astronauts were recovered by the USS Okinawa. Okay, we're not done yet, but we're almost there. Apollo 16. The fifth manned moon landing was made on April 21st, 1972 by the lunar module of Apollo 16 that was commanded by John Young and piloted by Charles Duke. They landed in the Descartes area north of the Dolan Crater, leaving pilot Thomas Mattingly in charge of the orbiting command module. The astronauts traveled 16.7 miles, or 27 kilometers, in the lunar rover vehicle, collecting samples and taking photographs, as well as carrying out various experiments. On what? Oy, oy, oy. Okay, on April 24th, after a stay of 71 hours and 21 minutes, the lunar module lifted off and docked with the command module. On April 27th, the crew splashed down some 200 miles southeast of Christmas Island. What is Christmas Island? I've never heard of that. Where they were recovered by the USS Ticonderoga. And we're still going. Are you guys ready? Are you ready for Apollo 17? Apollo 17, the last manned landing on the moon to date, which took place on December 11, 1972, was made by the commander Eugene Cernan and lunar, wow, his last name is Cern, like Cern, C-E-R-N-A-N, -E and lunar module pilot Harrison Schmidt 
who was also the first scientist on the moon. First scientist on the moon? Okay. I think they would have told me about this in history class. I wasn't born until 1978. I'm, you know what I'm saying? This is, woo. All right, I hope, I hope I'm not alone in this because quite certain the whole world really thought there had only been one time that we went to the moon and walked on the moon. Okay, undocking from the command module piloted by Ronald Evans, Schmidt guided the spacecraft to land in the valley of Taurus Littro close to the southeastern edge of the Mare Serentatis crater. That's spelled a lot like Serpentaris, which is the 13th sign that I just talked to you guys about. And it looks like they were on this mission in the cycle of the 13th sign, which is also very interesting. On December 14th, after a 75, 75, so each time they've gone, they've stayed longer. Now they're here longer than three days. They lifted off and docked with the command module. On December 19th, the astronauts successfully splashed down southeast of the Samoan Islands where they were recovered by the USS Ticonderoga. And it's where it's called the Ticonderoga. I always thought that was called the Ticonderosa, like a rose. So strange. So anyhow, that's my big, whoa, is this a Mandela effect or have we all just been living in the dark for all these years? If you don't believe in the Mandela effect, that's okay. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google the Mandela effect. But essentially what a lot of people believe is that people in science, particularly CERN, have uh, the abilities and the capabilities to manipulate not only technological things, but also physical matter. And when they're able to change physical matter, they can change our history. I mean, CERN created the internet. So if you haven't heard of CERN, you keep hearing me talking about it, look it up. They created the WWW, baby. They own the internet. So they can easily manipulate it. They own it. They literally own it. So just think about that. If all these years our textbooks and our teachers taught us that we've only been to the moon once and then suddenly now here I said on September 26 of 2016 we now have been to the moon physically with men and taking photographs taking samples seven times this should be world news it really should so please share this video I will allow comments for this one please be nice though guys I didn't make this up someone just said hey you said we've only been to the moon once, but I googled it and we've been there seven times. Again, I'm just kind of trying to figure out what's going on here. So please don't attack me, but I really would love to hear your guys' feedback on this one because this just totally blew my mind today. Wow, oh wow. You know, I'll just make this part, what, what part am I on? Part seven. This will be part seven of the series. And now that I'm wrapping the video up, I can see my computer's going crazy again. So that's my cue. Time to go. <laughs> Love you guys, and uh, yeah, I'll be back with more. Bye-bye.